Hi, uh, this is the fifth annual Film Prize uh, award announcement video, and I'm sorry to say that no one won this year. And that's a function of the fact that there weren't enough entrants in this year's uh, Film Prize. So everyone who entered this year will automatically be entered in next year's prize, and this year's $100 award will be rolled into next year's, so that next year you'll have a chance at winning $200 by entering in, uh, into the prize. Um, you can find out more information uh, by going to www.film.org, that's P-H-Y-L-M. And for my subscribers who are wondering where are my other videos, uh, I am working on the next installment in the Relativity series. And uh, just to prove that to you, here's a brief clip. Special relativity makes bizarre predictions for objects moving near the speed of light. That is, things moving really, really fast. It says that for those of us claiming to be at rest, these moving objects will shrink in their direction of motion and their clocks will run slow. This is pretty weird. In fact, it even requires a limited form of time travel. In this episode, we will start with the two postulates and using space-time diagrams, plus some simple geometry, we'll derive these consequences without using a single equation. Now I should warn you, we're going to lean very heavily on the ideas and nomenclature introduced in the preceding two episodes. So please, be sure that you've reviewed these beforehand. 